Good evening and welcome to the Board of Mayor and Alderman meeting. It is April 5th, 2022. It's 7 p.m. I call this meeting to order. We do have a quorum. Um, I will have the prayer tonight and the Pledge of Allegiance will be by Commissioner David Gammon. If everyone will please rise for the prayer and the pledge. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we just ask that you would impart your wisdom upon this board and put your hand upon our city. We ask that you bless it and its residents. We thank you, Lord, for what you did on the cross for us as we remember Easter this season and you rising three days later covering our sins. We ask you to watch over all of our men, women who serve both in uniform um, and across the world. In your name we pray. Amen. Please flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First item of business is approved minutes from the March 1st 2022 regular meeting. Need a motion to approve or deny? Make a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve by Alderwoman Honeycutt. Is there a second? Second. Second from Vice Mayor No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Motion passes. Moving on to presentations. If I could have uh, Chief Davis join me, Sergeant Stats. Two. So, well, we could have your family come up as well. Don't be shy. I think everybody can come. <laughs> I'll read to you all the proclamation that the city of Laverne. Uh, Office of the Mayor proclaimed, whereas Lieutenant Kevin Stolinski dedicated his life to the betterment of the city of Laverne, its citizens, and the Laverne Police Department, serving this community since 2001 as a dispatcher before becoming an officer in 2006, and whereas his death had profound impact on his fellow officers, city firefighters, city staff, and whereas he has a long-standing member of the Percy Priest Lodge Number 85 FOP and recent treasurer who was dedicated, dedicated to his members in his community. And whereas he was, all, he was, was involved in concerns of uh, police survivors and spearheaded the police department's involvement in the annual police week in Washington, D.C., meeting with families of fallen officers and honoring their loved ones. And whereas Stalinsky managed to the Percy Priest Lodge Number 85 Boxing Club and whereas April 11 marks uh, what would have been his 45th birthday, the city of Laverne will come together and honor his life and legacy. Therefore, Mayor Jason Cole do hereby proclaim April 11, 2022 to be Lieutenant Kevin Stilinski Day and encourage everyone to remember his contributions and his legacy. Dated April uh, 5th day of April, 2022, Mayor Jason Cole. Present this to the family. One other proclamation, um, Rex and Phil Wilson, if you could please join me here. Coincidentally enough, April 11th is, is a very busy day, so um, it also marks the 54th anniversary of the passage of the Fair Housing Act. Um, 
which enumerates a national policy of fair housing for all who live in the United States. Um, whereas fair housing is a positive and good for this community, um, whereas economic stability, community health, and human relations in all communities are, provide, are improved by diversity and integration, and whereas fair housing is an integral to the ethical commitment of the members of the National Association of Realtors and the Middle Tennessee Association of Realtors, it is critical to the ability of all real estate professionals to serve their clients, customers, and community, and whereas acts of housing discrimination and barriers to equal housing opportunity are repugnant to a common sense of decency and fairness. Therefore, I, Jason Cole, Mayor for the City of Laverne, do hereby claim the month of April 2022 as Fair Housing Month in the City of Laverne um, to establish Laverne as an inclusive community committed to fair housing and to promote appropriate activities by private and public entities intended to provide or advocate for equal housing opportunities for all residents and prospective residents of the City of Laverne. Gentlemen, thank you. Thank you, Mayor Cole. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now moving on to the departmental reports. Fire Department, Nick Matthews. Mayor, Vice Mayor, Alderman. In front of you, you'll have our run numbers for the month of March. It's pretty much the same as it always is. The only good news is our COVID numbers have dropped dramatically. We're down to the ones and twos here and there. That's a good thing to hear. Yep. Let's keep that trend going. Any questions or anything? The guys that went to a severe, severe they, uh, they, they're back. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, they, I've seen them on the news that, uh, uh, look like they've got the fire up there pretty well under control. Yeah, we're very proud of them. Oh, yes. Last I heard it was 90% uh, contained yeah. uh, from Chief Beasley, who is actually up in that area right now at a uh, Chief's Convention. Chief's so. Convention, correct. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to the police department, Chief Davis. Mayor, Vice Mayor, and Alderman, you have your cram summary for the month of uh, March uh, 2022. Uh, highlights that I want to uh, point out, uh, as you can see, um, we had uh, 12, 12 vehicle burglaries in the month of March, with 11 of those vehicles being unlocked. Uh, so I will encourage everyone to please, please, please uh, lock your doors at night. Uh, when you're leaving out of your car and definitely take your firearms and other weapons uh, out of your car. Also, there's a sheet in your packet that you'll see the total LPD activity for the month of March. Uh, as you can see, uh, PD activity has picked up some. Um, we're getting more officers, so therefore you're going to see more activity, as you can see on here. So the officers are out uh, doing their jobs. So, and uh, on that last sheet, you will see uh, activity from my Blue Sentinel uh, LPR program too. Any questions? Chief, I have a question for you when yes. it comes to the, um, the motor vehicle thefts. Do we know how many of those um, were left unlocked? Yes, uh, in this particular month, uh, 11 out of the 12 was unlocked. There was only one, uh, excuse me. Okay, yes, there was 11 unlocked and, and one actually had the windows broken out of. Well, that, that was the burglaries, um, the motor vehicle yeah, burglaries. Yeah, from the motor vehicles as well. The, yes. the actual motor vehicle thefts, yes. they were unlocked? Oh, you're talking about the actual 
stolen vehicles. Yes, sir. Not, uh, I, I do not know that information. Okay. Uh, some of this information that uh, uh, vehicles being stolen could be recoveries from, from other, other agencies as well. Okay. Too. Okay. But most of the time, I will say, based upon uh, the, the, the reports that we do get, um, there's no, no columns being stripped or anything. Most of them have keys still in the car. Mm -hmm. Somebody's warming up their car. Uh, hopefully that will calm down here in the warmer months when people won't have to warm up their car so much. Right? So as we've been saying for years now, make sure to lock your doors, take all your valuables inside. Yeah, I would encourage everybody, whatever time of the night that you uh, feel that you want to do it, set your alarm on your phone so every night when that alarm go off you check and make sure your doors are locked most cars have a key fob to it where you can just check it from inside the house so just just please do that for us that'll help us out a lot any other questions i was trying to say uh still in the cars the way the cars is made today if they don't have the key it's it's pretty well pretty hard to steal one most of the cars are the push button type so if you don't have the key fob in the close proximity of it it won't start uh, we've had some here recently that uh, the spare key was in another car, and that's how uh, the lock car got stolen because of that. So we just have to be mindful of that when we do that. <coughs> Everyone in the household. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Moving on to Parks and Recreation Department, Mr. David McGowan. Mayor, Vice Mayor, Board, thank you. You guys have the numbers for the parks for the month. 86 help desk tickets, 632 hours devoted to those. CR projects, updated parking lot lights, the LED in front of City Hall. Uh, that should say front parking lot at Veterans. We haven't got to the rest of it yet. And I apologize also, that should say prepared dog park parking lot for paving. That has not been paved yet, but it is ready for that. Uh, as well as a 468 Stones River Roadhouse. Past events, you see the 50th anniversary 5K run. We had about 50 participants there. Um, pretty decent turnout. Weather really didn't cooperate. It was kind of nasty, but we were excited with that. Upcoming events, this Saturday, April 9th, is the Easter drive through um, That will start at 10 a.m. at Veterans Park. Um, 10 to 11.30 are as, as long as supplies last. There will be four divisions, zero to three, four and five, six to eight, and nine to 12, and there will be a golden egg given out in each age division. <clears throat> Upcoming meetings, April 17th, Senior Advisory, April 22nd, Parks Advisory, and April 22nd, Historical Preservation. I want to go over a couple things with the Senior Center's got going on here recently, our upcoming. April 14th will be their Easter luncheon, that will begin at 11.30. Um, the Easter Bunny is scheduled to make an appearance somewhere around 12.30 and 1 p.m. will be their egg hunt. That will take place at the center. April 29th is their senior prom. That will be at the multi-purpose building from 5 to 7. May 21st, they have a yard sale scheduled at the center with a rain out date of the 28th. Um, setup starts at 7. So no, excuse me. Setup starts at 6.30. The yard sale runs from 7 to 2.30. Um, food will be available for purchase, um, space and table rental. If you want a space only, it's $20. If you want a space and table, it's $25. <coughs> Each additional table is $5. So that is open to the public. I would suggest contacting the ladies at the Senior Center if you're interested in scheduling a spot. Um, please keep the family of Carol Begley in your thoughts and prayers. We lost her May, March the 25th. Sometime in the future, the center will hold a small memorial for, for her at the center. The, the, no date has been set yet. Um, and lastly, we would like to thank Chief, Chief Davis and his department for providing lunch one day and taking time out of their day to spend at our senior center with our seniors. They all enjoyed the day. Any questions? The only question I have is, uh, have we received any bids yet for the dog park fence? We won't know until, a lot of them don't come in until that day, and I think it's the 11th maybe, next Tuesday or Thursday. Um, so yeah, we generally don't know. Some of them don't come in until 10 minutes. Some of them hand deliver them that time. <coughs> really? Yeah, so yes. we'd like to see if anybody's watching this and you want to put up some fence, please submit a bid. we definitely like yeah. to get that project underway. Is the fence supposed to be six foot or what? Well, we put out options on the fence to get different quotes on prices. We put out options for four foot, five foot, and six fence, black vinyl, um, regular galvanized chain link. So 
there's several different options out there. When we get those, we'll, hopefully when we get those, we'll bring that, those back before the board. Thank you. Um, quick question on the uh, strikers. How is uh, participation this year? And uh, at this point, do we have an opening day yet? I don't know if they've got a date set in stone yet. I think it's going to be mid next week. Um, an email went out to them earlier in the week um, asking them or requesting of them when they do have a date locked in. They, we forwarded all of y'all's email address to them to include you guys in that. Um, the far as the numbers, I don't recall that right offhand. I want to uh, Vice Mayor know you may have a I've ballpark heard, figure on the numbers. I've heard a few, uh, somewhere between 170 and 210. I think they have 14 teams. Um, last month I had the breakdown of the age groups with me and teams. I don't have that tonight, I apologize. But I can make that available to you guys if you request that. Um, I think they're excited about the way it's going over the last couple of years. You know, last fall, spring took a downturn. Um, so we're excited with the numbers that they're producing so far. Wonderful. Thank you, David. Thank you. Next up, we have finance. Ms. Phyllis Rogers. Good afternoon, Mayor, Vice Mayor, and Alderman. Uh, tonight's report you have in front of you is for year ending uh, up to date through the end of February. Um, <clears throat> revenues for the general fund are holding strong uh, with revenues being approximately $6.6 .6 million more than what was uh, expended at the end of February year to date. Local sales tax were up about almost $3 million, well, right at $3 million over what we budgeted even about $1.7 million better than what we were this time last year. Wow. State Street Aid revenues have exceeded expenditures by approximately six hundred seven thousand dollars and in our stormwater fund the expenses have exceeded the revenues by a little bit um, almost uh, almost nine thousand dollars in the water sewer fund the revenues have exceeded expenditures by approximately me and 89 the second page is there are balances in our various bank accounts third page is comparison to prior year in the general fund the revenues are up about two million dollars um, expenses are also up about a million and in a water sewer fund, revenues are pretty holding pretty strong as compared to last year, and expenses are up about eight hundred ninety thousand. Um, tap fees are also up about fifty six thousand. Any questions? Just want to hear this one more time. For for sales tax at the end of February, we are three million dollars above what yes. we budgeted. Correct. We're almost at what we budgeted for the whole year. We budgeted 10 million for the whole year, and we're almost there. That is absolutely amazing. So, it is. It just shows that when retail comes in, it makes a big impact to the city. Yes. Yes. It's it's a combination of different factors: economic development, our residents, sound fiscal management mm -hmm. from your department, and it's just that that's absolutely amazing. So, thank you. Thank you. Moving on to the library department, Ms. Donna Bebout. Uh, let me get me a drink. <laughs> Mayor, Vice Mayor Alderman, good evening. We're really excited to say in the month of March that our attendance numbers are up, items circula circulated are up, and we also issued a total of 70 new library cards. So it was a very good month, and we're excited about that. We've started our programs back, and we had a total of 22 programs in the month of March with a total attendance of 651. So that's an exciting number also. That included our Project Lit, which is the Laverne High School group, and that was a great day. VITA's last weekend for tax preparation it will be this coming weekend, Friday, April the 9th, and Saturday, April the 10th. They will, depending on availability, they will take walk-ins this weekend. So if you have not been able to make an appointment, you can come in and check to see if they have availability. Upcoming events, uh, the library is excited to hand out treats at the drive through egg hunt sponsored by Parks and Recreation. As David said, that will be at Veterans Memorial Park this coming Saturday from 10 a.m. until 1130 or until all the cars are gone. 
We're having a book sale, first book sale in two and a half years. So we're real excited about that. We have so many donated items. This will start April the 23rd and go through May the 21st. It will be in our gallery. We have cleared out our shelves and we're going to fill it with tables and all sorts of wonderful, very reasonably priced items. Uh, our book sale will be available during all of our regular operating hours. And then once again, visit the library tent at the City of Laverne <coughs> block party. That's coming up on Saturday, May the 7th, 2022 at Veterans Memorial Park. I believe it starts at 5 p.m. So we're looking forward to that. It was a fun time last year. And getting ready for summer reading. Oceans <coughs> of Possibility is our theme this year. Our summer reading 2022, we will have our kickoff on Saturday, June the 4th from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. But you can sign up all day long and you can sign up all summer also. But that's gonna be our big kickoff where we'll be giving away some prizes, have some special entertainment. <coughs> We're gonna have some balloon twisting, face painting, and some crafts going on. Our summer reading program will go from June the 7th until July the 17th. And we have programs for all ages, birth all the way to 99 plus. Uh, during the summer reading, you read to receive prizes. We'll have magicians, ventriloquists, just a lot of fun things going on. Stormwater also is going to be partnering with us during the summer. We're gonna have a Creekside Saturday. And that will include getting a little wet, not in the creek. We'll be learning about the creek, but we, we will have a human car wash going on. So that will be a lot of fun. Do you have any questions? Thank you, Ms. Right. Donna. Thank you. Water treatment plant. That's Mr. Danny Campbell. Good evening, Mayor, Vice Mayor, Board. Uh, I trust that you've had the opportunity to uh, review our report. Do you happen to have any questions tonight? Don't see any. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And then we're going to have Mr. Michael Dietz come up and talk to us a little bit about the 24-inch uh, water line project that's going on. Yes, sir. Mayor, Vice Mayor Board, good afternoon. I uh, just want to give a quick update on the status of the project. Um, currently, we're nine months into the project. Contractors have installed an estimated 70% of the piping. Um, they have finished from the roundabout on Stones River to just shy of Hollandale Road. Um, this week, they're on site installing the temporary paving. Once that's completed, we have a scheduled walkthrough for next week. We are hopeful that if all goes well with that walkthrough, we will be opening Stones River Road back up to through traffic. Um, with that being said, <clears throat> Once completed, the contractors will then transition to phase D, which is on Hollandale Road or Stone River Road to Hollandale Road. Um, this is a highly congested area and it's going to present its own challenges. There are a lot of homes in the area, a lot of underground utilities. Uh, we're going to be working with the contractors daily to ensure the homeowners have access to their driveways at the end of each workday and or temporary parking measures throughout the day in the event they need to come and go as, as they need. Um, we understand the inconvenience of all of this project. We just ask that you know citizens continue to work with us, be patient. Once completed, it's going to be better for everyone. Michael, you are estimating to hit much rock, or at least a contractor too. I, I would I would expect to hit a lot of rock on Hollandale. Yes, sir. Um, previous projects in that area, subdivisions that went in, there it was it was a lot of rock in that area. And then uh, we have a plan that will be um, released as far as for traffic right there at the intersection with Hollandale and Stones River. I know we've got a, a lot of people in Vaughnwood who've been asking some questions on that. Yes, sir, that's correct. Our utility engineer is currently working on some literature to get out to the homeowners in the area. We anticipate getting that out hopefully next week or the week thereafter. Um, just notifying them of the work that's coming up and what to expect. Wonderful. Does anyone have any questions about this project? Tell me again when you expect us uh, paved Stone River Road. The final paving will not be completed until the end of the project once <coughs> the water line's installed. We do not want to do final topping until it's completed because we don't want the heavy dump trucks coming back and forth and tearing up the project. But the temporary paving is being completed this week in phase B and C, which consists, will consist of the roundabout all the way to Hollandale. 
He answered my question. I just want to know what the Central Road was doing. And so, estimated, when do you think the total project will be complete with the final coating? Um, yes, sir. Well, depending upon the rock, of course, but substantial completion is scheduled for or September of this year and final completion is scheduled for November of this year. So all goes to plan. Hopefully we'll be wrapped up by the end of the year. Good deal. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you, Michael. Yes, sir. Thank you. Moving on to the consent agenda. Need a motion to approve or deny? Make a motion to approve. A motion to approve from Alderman Coates. Is there a second? Second. Second from Vice Mayor No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none, motion passes. New business, resolution 2022-03, a resolution to amend the City of Laverne check signing policy. Need a motion to approve or deny? Sure. Motion to approve. I have a motion to approve from Vice Mayor No. Is there a second? Second. Second from Alderman Waldron. Alderman Waldron? Aye. Alderwoman Honeycutt? Aye. Alderman Coates? Aye. Vice Mayor No? Aye. Motion passes, or resolution passes. Resolution 2022-04, resolution of the City of Laverne Board of Mayor and Aldermen to declare property owned by the city to be surplus to the city's needs and directing disposal of the same. Need a motion to approve or deny? Make a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve from Alderwoman Honeycutt. Our second it. Alderman Waldron? Aye. Alderwoman Honeycutt? Aye. Alderman Coates? Aye. Vice Mayor No? Aye. I vote aye. Resolution passes. Resolu uh, resolution 2022-05, a resolution to authorize the mayor to enter into a contract for the sale and lease of fire station property located at 169 Stones River Road. Need a motion to approve or deny? Make a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve <coughs> from Alderman Coates. Is there a second? A second. Second from Alderwoman Honeycutt. Alderman Waldron? No. Alderwoman Honeycutt? Aye. Alderman Coates? Aye. Vice Mayor No? Aye. Resolution passes. Number eight, approve and implement phase one of the employee compensation study for the remainder of fiscal year 2021-2022. I'll make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. second. Third. Second from Vice Mayor No. Third from Alderman Coates. Alderman Waldron? Aye. Alderman Honeycutt? Aye. Alderman Coates? Aye. Vice Mayor No? Aye. I vote aye. Motion passes. First reading ordinance 2022-07, an ordinance to amend the fiscal year 2021-2022 general fund budget. Need a motion to approve or deny? Make a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve from Alderman Coates. Is there a second? A second. Second from Vice Mayor No. Alderman Waldron? Aye. Alderman Honeycutt? Aye. Alderman Coates? Aye. Vice Mayor No? Aye. First reading passes. First reading ordinance 2022-08, an ordinance to amend the fiscal year 2021-2022 stormwater fund budget. Need a motion to approve or deny? Make a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve from Alderman Honeycutt. Our second. Alderman Waldron? Aye. Alderman Honeycutt? Aye. Alderman Coates? Aye. Vice Mayor No? Aye. Motion passes. First reading ordinance 2022-09, an ordinance to amend the fiscal year 2021-2022 water and sewer fund budget. Need a motion to approve or deny? Make a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve from Alderman Coates. Our second that. Alderman Waldron? Aye. Alderman Honeycutt? Aye. Alderman Coates? Aye. Vice Mayor No? Aye. Motion passes. Resolution 2022-06, a resolution to accept the Sand Hill Village subdivision. This received a favorable recommendation from the Planning Commission on March 29th, 2022. <coughs> a motion to approve or deny? Make a motion to approve. I have a motion to approve from Alderman Coates. Is there a second? Second for discussion. Second from Alderman Walter. Uh, is all the, all, everything been mad on it, all the, everything been mad on that subdivision? Yes, that was discussed at Planning Commission, that the punch list had been completed. Any other questions? Alderman Waldron? Aye. Alderman Honeycutt? Aye. Alderman Coates? Aye. Vice Mayor No? Aye. Resolution passes. Moving on to number 13, we have um, appoint or remove board and committee members. We have the Senior Citizens Advisory Committee, and um, we have a vacancy from Tanisha Durham-Simmons, which would give us seven members. 
but to be consistent with some of our prior processes, we do need to remove the one vacancy position from this board. That would drop the number of uh, members from eight to seven. So with that, is there a motion? I make a motion to eliminate that vacant position. Motion to eliminate that vacant position. Is there a second? I second. Second I, from Alderman Hancock. Voting on this on this item. Because Thank you, sir. You don't have the, the floor right now. It's, uh, Thank you, sir. Medical, and I will not be All participating. Everyone in favor, say aye. 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 Motion passes. Moving on to resolution 2022-07, resolution to support restoring the historic revenue sharing relationship between the state of Tennessee and its local governments and to return the local share of the single article cap to local governments. I'll make a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Second from Alderman Coates. Alderman Waldron. Aye. Alderman Honeycutt. Aye. Alderman Coates. Aye. Vice Mayor, no? Aye. And I vote aye. Motion passes. Moving on to Mayor and Alderman comments. Alderman Waldron. Again, I want to let everybody keep the Tandy family in their prayers for their lost. And again, I encourage all citizens to reach out to your state legislator to encourage them to support extending the gas tax removable and uh, the uh, sales tax on food, extending that. And uh, the Laverne Rescue Squad's having a country ham breakfast this Saturday. It's April the 9th at the Laverne Rescue Squad. Thank you. Alderwoman Honeycutt. I um, just want to remind everybody about the Easter drive through this Saturday. I look forward to seeing everybody there and to thank our fire and police department and our city employees. And that's all I got. Alderman Coates. To follow up with that, so looking forward to seeing everyone out there at the Easter drive through And my other comment is, if you would, ensure you lock your cars, please. Vice Mayor, no. I've been quiet the last few meetings, so I got to call a few people out. First of all, Michael Dietz. I don't know if any of you all have had to contact Michael about your phone calls and emails, but I have, and man, Michael's all over it. It takes a lot of pressure off of us, particularly me. When I get a phone call and we've got an area of Laverne that people seem to, they want to be using for stuff other than what it's intended for and it's keeping Michael busy. I want to follow up with what David said about the uh, chief down there. Uh, Wow, what you all did for the senior center, I, I couldn't make it that day, but uh, you were the talk of the town. Cannot thank you enough. They were uh, phenomenal. And the other thing I want to call you out about, Chief, not call you out, but your engagement on social media is not a lot, but it's enough sometimes to put people's minds at ease whenever there is uh, talk about stuff that's really not 100% uh, spot on. And, and when you do that, it, uh, it brings light to things. So I just want to call you guys out. I, appreciate, I know I personally appreciate it because it's a, it's a, it's a big plus. That's it. Well, um, we have got a lot going on. So, of course, uh, like Alderwoman Honeycutt and Alderman Coates said this Saturday, 10 a.m. Veterans Memorial Park is the Easter drive through um, Should be a lot of fun, so be sure to come out, say hello. There'll be a lot of us out there um, handing out bags and goodies, so should be a lot of fun for everyone. I want to remind everybody we have early voting coming up uh, April 13th through 28th. It will be back here at the uh, multi-purpose building uh, here at Bicentennial Park, so be sure to get out and vote. I um, want to remind everyone April 15th is Good Friday. City offices will be closed. And the 17th is Easter. Would love to see you out at church. Um, had a, uh, a very interesting meeting today when it comes to economic development and looking at numbers. And Ms. Phyllis was giving us some amazing numbers with sales tax. And we're already at, we're almost to where we projected for the year. That is absolutely amazing and shows the strength of the economy here in Laverne. And we've got to thank 
everybody who was involved, whether it's the residents for shopping local, whether it's economic development, whether it's finance keeping us on track, whether it's our city administrators making sure to hold our feet to the fire, um, this is all one big piece of the puzzle. And uh, I've seen a lot of talk back and forth with economic development. We have got some big things coming. We've already announced uh, BJ's Wholesale, which is coming in um, on industrial. We've got uh, Dairy Queen coming in, and we've got a few other surprises up our sleeve. So uh, look forward to the future and the, the prosperity for Laverne. With that, I call this meeting adjourned.